Hey guys, it is Luke from Plus Studios, and today I am going to show you the basics of CMD, which is Command Prompt. Now, Command Prompt controls your computer. Now, it you can change everything from Command Prompt. To run it, you're going to go to Start and go search in Program Files if you've got Windows 7 or Vista for uh, CMD. And it should come up. Or if you're on Windows 7 or Windows XP. Uh, there should be run here, click run and write CMD and then press enter. For Windows 7 and Vista, right click Windows command or CMD, oops, sorry, and run as administrator, otherwise you cannot change so Okay. Okay, so you're in CMD, now you will have your directory, I, since I've, I'm a new user I've got C Windows System 32, now you might have C uh, users, your username, and then it would, should have it here. Now, first thing I'm going to do is look at all all the users on your local network. So if you write net user, it should come up with all the um, users on this computer, this computer here. Now, I have got administrator, guest, hacking, Luke, and new. Now, my hacking is just to test hacks on because recently I. A hack. I tested a hack and it stuffed up my user so I had to make a new one. So yeah, they're all your users. So now we're going to change a password of a user. Say I'm on new right now, my new user. I'm going to change the password for Luke. Now to do this you're going to write net user space your username so Luke space asterisk or star whatever press enter and now it says type a password for the user now when you type it won't come up with anything but you actually are typing something something so I've got my password and I'm going to change it to YouTube so Y-O-U-T-U-B-E then press enter and type it again Y-O-U-T-U-B-E okay and press enter now it says the command completed successfully so that has successfully um, changed the password for that user now I'm going to change it back because I can't remember YouTube, I'll, I'll forget it. So just like that, and I'll type my old password. Just like that. Okay, so now I'm going to clear all this because you don't want it, it's annoying and you're trying to make some space. So you're going to write CLS, which stands for clear screen. Click, press enter. So now you're going to clear screen and yeah. Okay, so the next thing you can do is find out your IP. So you're going to write IP config. Now this gives you a whole bunch of crap, but if you go to the top, you should have your um, IP somewhere. There's mine today. They, they, I'm pretty sure they change every day. Correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah. So there's mine. Okay, so we're going to clear screen this because there's a lot of shit on there. Okay, so the next thing is we're going to find the ping, no, the uh, IP address for a website. Say Google. You're going to write tracer. T and then the site www.google.com press enter now it will take a few seconds to load up all the IPs that it is coming from so as you can see these people I'm with INET of course and yeah so just waiting a bit notice how these are all different IPs this is where some people's computers I'm pretty sure now we can and at the last one it will come up with Google's this is Google's here, 66.102.11.104. So you're just going to copy that by going right click, mark, then drag it across and press enter. Now you've copied it. And then you can go into your web browser and type it in and then it will go into Facebook. Oh, Google, sorry. <laughs> now, there is this really cool trick. I'm pretty sure this may work for most computer, uh, school computers. Um, if you want to get onto Facebook at school and you type in the address and it doesn't work, this link has been banned. Blah blah blah. Um, <coughs> it, I don't. I'm pretty sure they don't ban the IP address. So what you're going to do is clear the screen. You're going to write tracer t then www.facebook.com and if you do that, you'll get the IP in a few seconds.
loading, loading, loading. Whoa, I think it, I think it may go 17, I'm not sure. But these are all the IPs from people, here we go, 14. So you're going to right click, go mark, trace the, the IP, press enter. Now you're going to go to your web browser, so two seconds. So now if we um, go into our web browser, I'll just drag it over here, exit out of my Facebook, I'll exit out of everything, okay? Okay, so we'll go into our web browser, sorry. Okay, we're in our web browser, and we're going to uh, paste in that uh, IP address. It should take us to Facebook, there you go. Now, I'm not sure if this works at school computers where they block the link, so um, feel free to leave a comment and tell, us, tell me if it works, um, that'd be really cool. And yeah, so um, that's some things that you can do with our command prompt. Um, okay, now we're going to do some, uh, not harder, but yeah, we'll just do some more stuff. Now we're going to look at all the computers on your network. Now I'm the only one home right now, so my dad's computer is on. So I'm going to write in net view. Now this views every PC on your network. Right now I've got Luke 97, which is this computer, I, this laptop I have right now and the other one is Neil PC which is my dad's computer so that shows both of them now since my dad has only has administrative rights to his computer I can't access his computer so if I write net view forward forward slash or back back slash Neil PC so system error 5 has occurred access is denied now <coughs> I'm not sure how I'm going to get administrator I'll find out soon okay so now we're going to learn how to make an administrative. First, we're going to make a new a user for your computer. So to do this, you're going to write net user your new name you want to have. Uh, I'll name mine YouTube space forward slash add. Should say the command completed successfully. So now, if we net users, we have now got a new a new um a new user called YouTube. So yes, that's what you that's how you do that. Now we're gonna make that account an administrator. So clear screen, we're gonna write net local group administrator. Make sure you spell it right, I always make mistakes. Like administrators actually. Or think it is administrators and then write the YouTube name the oh, no, sorry write the username YouTube then forward slash space forward slash add and it should say the command complete the command completed successfully uh, successfully, successfully. <coughs> so you've made your new user and it is now administrative rights and yes okay so now we're gonna delete it since I don't want it so we're gonna just click screen we're gonna write net user YouTube space forward slash Dell now that deletes it so if we look at net users there is no YouTube anymore so really that is the basics of the CMD um, there's some cool basic stuff we can do um, so yeah uh, please take two seconds to like this video subscribe comment and all that yeah so thanks see ya